Economics here. Just wanted to do a quick video um, talking about, you know, diet of your dogs. Um, I've been hearing lately about people feeding their their dogs vegan diets, and so I thought I would share what I do with my dog that I just recently adopted from the shelter. Number one, I don't agree that feeding your dog a vegan diet, diet is the right choice, to be honest. Um, dogs are carnivores. People are herbivores. So that's, that's the first thing you need to realize is that look at a dog's teeth. A dog's teeth look like this, and they only go this way. A dog can't move his jaw side to side. So... Dogs are not meant to be eating bananas, oranges, apples, rice. I mean, right, there, there, there's probably rice in the food that, in most dog food, as a filler, or corn, or wheat, or other things to fill, you know. But I, I disagree about giving dogs vegan foods, I just do. Because they, they, they descended from wolves, they're not humans, people treat them like humans, but that doesn't mean that they should eat the diet that a human eats. So, that's just my stance, guys. I, I, it's a little hard, I know, coming from someone that, you know, I'm against buying animal products, but at the same time, I mean, I'm not going to risk the health of my dog to... Um, feed him a vegan diet that, that he wasn't meant for, he wasn't designed for. Not designed, I don't, you know, believe in a designer or a creator, but you know what I'm saying. He wasn't supposed to be eating. Um, second part of this video, I wanted to talk about ways that you can um, become a little more green, so to speak, or things that I do that... Um, definitely reduce carbon emissions and I think that any vegan or vegetarian might might like to know okay first of all I do not you I do not buy and or and or use any paper products in my house so I have a bunch of these rags laying around old rags I blow my nose with them um, Oh, that includes toilet paper. I don't use toilet paper. So I know a lot of people are going to be like, what? What do you do? Well, I use these and I wash them. I wash them thoroughly, trust me. I don't use my dryer, my clothes dryer. I don't have a dishwasher. Um, I. This is what I do with my clothes after they get out of the wash. I, I hang dry them. It's what people have done for, I don't know how many years, but it, it works. It, it works fine. If you can wait eight hours for your clothes to dry, why why use more energy than you need to? So I, I, I it's what I do. I, um, I pee in a bucket, and then when that bucket gets halfway full or near the top, I flush that all at once. You know, if it were up to me, I would be human where I would be composting right now. I have a, a compost toilet that I built, but um, I, haven't I haven't figured out where I want it to go yet. I haven't found out um, what kind of uh, sawdust I'm going to be getting or anything like that. So until I do that, and yeah, until I do that and actually build a, a nice compost, uh, human manure compost pile in my backyard when the snow clears, I'm not going to worry about that because, I don't know, I just don't want to set myself up for failure right off the bat. So, no paper products, uh, no dryer, no dishwasher, um, peeing in a bucket, flushing, I flush the toilet maybe five times a day, you know. Number two, I definitely flush it. Number one, like I said, I pee in a bucket and throw it in there. Um, what else do I do? I don't use dog bags to pick up my dog's poop. Right now it's really cold and he doesn't like to go outside, so he goes outside to pee and that's about it. So he'll poop on the hardwood floor 
and luckily it's it's dry so I will <laughs> I get a lot of crap mail who doesn't so what I do is I either use that crap mail to pick up his poop throw it in the toilet and then recycle that I know it's might be gross but there's no it's not like there's poop on the paper you know what I mean it's, it's dry or I throw it outside I throw his poop outside and recycle the paper um, it's just what I do um, save money with not having an air purifier I bought some plants you know and it's nice decor for the inside you know I what else I live very very close to where I work and where I shop I literally in the su in the spring summer and fall I I have a motorcycle which gets 80 miles to the, to the gallon which I'm going to be using to go to school to go to the school where I work go I literally live half a mile to my grocery store maybe a little more maybe a mile but it's between a half mile and a mile right now it's it's a little too cold to still go out but I will either be bicycling taking my motorcycle or walking to the the grocery store when I need to go um, you know what that that's probably about it guys um, try to economize and it it's as much about saving money well not really ultimately saving the planet or helping the planet out from carbon emissions and all that other stuff is my main focus but if I can save money in the long run too hell yeah you know I don't I'm not made of money I'm not rich a teacher doesn't make a lot of money we make enough but we don't make like tons of money also um, laundry detergent if I have a, a, a video from before that I made um, a do-it-yourself under ten dollars for at least three months if you're living by yourself three to six months of uh, laundry detergent so it includes borax laundry soda I think, it, I think it's washing soda something like that laundry soda and uh, uh, laundry soap a bar of laundry soap which is two dollars so take these tips guys I know I kind of took two video concepts and meshed it into one but that's okay um, so yeah I don't know if anyone else can tell me why they think that they uh, a vegan diet for dogs would be beneficial I'd be open to listen to it I'm, I'm definitely not gonna change his I, well I can't say I'm definitely not gonna change his diet but I, I don't I don't anticipate changing um, my dog's diet to a vegan diet I just don't I don't believe that that's a healthy option for him at this time so let me know why I'm wrong tell me why I am wrong otherwise no he's gonna be eating dog food he eats um by the way right now he's a puppy he's five months six months old so he's eating um, science diet, uh, healthy development, small bites. This was what he was eating at the um, animal shelter when I got him. So let's let's just real quick look at some of the uh, what is in here. All right, crude protein <coughs> ingredients. Let's see: <coughs> chicken meal, cracked pear, pearled barley, whole grain wheat, pork meal, whole grain corn, whole grain sorghum, corn gluten meal, animal fat, chicken liver flavor, dried beet pulp, fish oil, lactic acid. Guys, the list goes on and on. A dog's diet, a wolf's diet, you know, animals other than humans. I mean, look out in nature. Do you ever see a naturally fat dog or a wolf or a squirrel? <clears throat> no, they eat what they eat a as much as they need and they are the weight that they should be more give or take you know you never see an obese <clears throat> um, bird unless it's a pigeon living in New York City or, or a city where human influence and human diet has influenced their diet so you know campsites the raccoons are gonna be fat obviously because humans are around leaving their garbage all over the place but in nature 
those raccoons would be the de the weight that they should be, right? A healthy weight for their their species. Another another reason why dogs can handle much more fat than and protein than humans can is because their digestive digestive tract is so much smaller, so much shorter than that of a human's. I I don't remember the exact numbers, but if you were to um, take the intestines out of a human, they would go something like 60 feet. Don't quote me on that, but it's something like that. Whereas a dog's is more like 10 or 5 or something like that. So before the fat gets really broke, um, absorbed by the body, it gets pushed out in their poop. You know what I mean? So like, that's just, that's a, that's a, a huge reason why I don't buy into the feed your dog a vegan diet um, sort of thing. And, yeah, it, it's kind of hard being a vegan, buying food that's, you know, got animal products in it or animals in it. And it's really tough for me, but you know what? That's that's what I'm not going to... My dog's too small to go out and to find his own, you know, mice or whatever to kill and eat. So that's how I'm going to feed him. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I know I got off topic there, but no, not really, actually. But, um, I don't know. Subscribe, like, share this video if you liked it. Um, let me know if you've got any questions or comments down in the comment section below. Um, and yeah, thanks a lot. Talk to you later.